Hello everyone, welcome back to Agrarian Skies. Does it look nice behind me? All that space, I can just set up so many different machines over there. wonder how long ago I could have actually done this. I wonder what I can use it for. Right now I don't have any plans to use this area. But at least it's not a power drain on my system. It actually functions really, really well. Anyway, enough, enough of that. I did do a little bit of tweaking on my system again. A small amount. For one, you'll notice I moved this entire setup over a bit, which gives me slightly more space still, and freed up a couple tubes. Just a couple. And there is now a cable running over here because I have connected it to my computer system. Let's turn off that jetpack. I don't need it on. So the, the way this is set up is I didn't want to clog my computer with hundreds and hundreds of glowstone dust and amber and quicksilver drops. So I set all that to go to here where I can turn pretty much all of it into its block form. And everything that I need to get out of block form, well, it's pretty easy to do. And over here, everything else goes. You know, everything that's not an ore. And it seems to work out just fine. I haven't noticed anything getting into my computer that shouldn't be in there. And this functions just fine. I am down to only a couple of diamond hammers which are in need of repair. I've been going back to Invar Hammers now because I do need quite a bit of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be making one of these. And it requires so much diamond that it's, it's, I don't... It makes me want to cry. And how many diamonds do I have? 85, plus some diamond ore. Which I will pulverize quick. Uh, it's going to give me 8... Another 16 diamonds. So, these things, the ME16 megabit storage... It is the biggest storage that I can make. It requires three diamonds for here, a bunch of Luke's dust and quartz glass, and it requires a Terra storage cluster. Terra storage cluster requires three giga storage clusters, a diamond, and a diamond pro processor. Each one of these requires a diamond and a diamond processor. Each one of these requires a diamond and a diamond processor. Each one of these requires a diamond and a diamond processor. Then these require diamond processors, and these require diamond processors. So holy crap! <laughs> this is going to be one heck of a thing. Actually, I really am curious how much processors this is going to require. Let me do the math quick. If my calculations are correct, that should be 364 diamond processors. So, we're not going to be doing that quest this time. <laughs> Holy crap. I was I was trying not to laugh for a while there, just just let the seriousness of that sink in. Three hundred sixty four diamonds. You may notice that there's a stool here with a sif with a sieve. I AFK'd for around two hours sifting gravel.
and all I have to show for it is 100 diamonds. So my best chance is probably going to be one of these diamond bees. Oops. Diamond princess. It's a diamondi. What do you do? You produce diamond shards. What's the diamond princess do? Produces diamond comb. Diamond comb can be centrifuged to get diamond fragments. Diamond shards can be combined to make diamonds. Diamond fragments can be combined to get diamonds. So diamond bees are what I'm going to have to shoot for to get lots of diamonds. Well, at least it's nice to know that we're not going to waste time on that quest. Uh, speaking of quests, how's Hell's Kitchen doing? Oh, we are so close. The leafy greens, we're doing good on that one. After that, I can start working on a few other things. Uh, let's see, bees and trees. So, instead of going to set that thing going, we're going to start with, with Gendistry stuff, which is going to help us get to diamond bees, which are so crucially needed. That is not funny anymore. Right, how's my reactor doing? Is it doing good? It's doing great. We got loads of Yalorium. Uh, oh yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to do, or let's just grab a bunch of nether ore, uh, okay, we'll put the beelizer in. And I saw that there's some gravel that shouldn't be in the system. How interesting. Okay, for the hoarding. Good, we're done with the iron and the redstone. Let's see, we just need to get the copper, the gold, lapis, ardite, and cobalt. So most of the stuff I grabbed, not necessary. Still, nice to just have it around. Oh, and uh, while we're here, start crafting that. I have a feeling we'll be, yep, we'll be pretty short. That's okay. Endstone, I did test out the system I had set up, made sure it worked out fine. It does work. It did jam once, but that's okay because you can just take the block of ender out of the thing and put it back in the smelter and it'll just keep going. Let's see. Craft. So I want to get... Let's do 640. It's going to put a lot of stuff into the system to get cooked up over here, but that's fine. That's the end. Up above, how are we doing with this tree? We're doing good. Hopefully one of these has exactly what we're looking for. And what I mean is the next tree in the list I was going for. I don't remember what it was, but I'm hoping. And we get some cherries out of it too. Darn it. Broke a leaf that I didn't want to. Uh, I can't really get to that leaf without breaking other leaves. What tree was I going for, anyway? Oh, it's, it might be this one. Ah, yeah, an orchard apple. That's right. Why was I going for an orchard apple? Was it used for something? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, produces apples. Uh, prairie crab apple, flowering crab apple, sweet crab apple, black thorn, cultivated pear. I think I was going for the orchard apple just so I can go for an orchard apple. I think that's the only reason I was doing it. And all these other trees are garbage. My garbage tree chest. Eh, 
and get the bone meal out. So whenever I get a new species of tree, this is what I do. I plant it, force it to grow up. Ow, stupid wisp. Where's my bow? Yeah, yeah, come here. Ha! I'm getting good at shooting these guys. There we go. Anyway, I plant it, force it to grow, and then, boom, loads of saplings. That way, I don't need to worry about getting about regrowing this tree. I love this industrial grafter. It's awesome for getting more trees. What color, what color is this wood? It's actually a pretty decent wood color. If I was more into building on this series, I definitely would use it. But honestly, I've built quite a few okay-ish areas. Everything else just kind of platform. Okay, so that's done. I can chop these trees down and I can get the next set of trees going. I'm going to get tons of cherries so we'll have food. I have food's not a worry, but we'll have it. Okay, let's see. In order to get the Grand Didier Baobab, what we need is to combine a balsa and a wedge. A balsa is made by combining a teak with a silver lime. We have silver limes. The teak is jungle and silver lime. And I do happen to have a bunch of jungle saplings. Because I remembered you get jungle saplings by planting the, the exotic seeds. I couldn't remember that for such a long time. And then I just grabbed one because I had a whole bunch and I was thinking of turning them into, uh, into seed oil. I, th I thought, you know, I haven't seen any jungle seeds. So I put it on the grass and, well, you know, jungle sapling. <laughs> ah, this is a lot. A lot of cherries. Alright, so we're going to set this up to start combining the crossbreeding the trees the inefficient way. And the gen industry stuff that we're going to work on, I, am, I believe, is how we're going to be able to make it the easy way. So that's two way. Hmm. I think that re that's still in the area of effect. But I'm going to assume it's not. I just want a short jungle tree. A short one would be fine. Can I get a short one out of this? Height is larger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get any shorter than that. Hmm. Well, we'll hope it works. Silver lime, silver lime. Where's my silver lime? There's my silver lime. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, and hopefully they will they'll cross over and take care of their own stuff. Uh, these I will throw in here. I'm going to... I, I think I can use these for something. Uh, what can I use them for? Let's see. Fuel, sifter. I can throw them in the mutatron, but they're not really what I want. I can throw them in the genetic sampler. which I can use to make templates. And if I squeeze them, 
I can get liquid DNA. How strange. Hmm, yeah, fascinating. Alright, to the gendistry stuff. Ah, look at that, it's working out perfectly. It hasn't jammed yet. Okay. So, not crafting menu. We are going to be making a mutagen producer, I think is what we want, and a mutatron. Let me double check. Genetic sampler and a genetic imprinter. Neither of them was what I was thinking of. That's fine though. Genetic imprinter. We need gears, receptacles, power modules, which also require gears. Diamonds. Always the diamonds, isn't it? You know what? I turned off my gravel sifting setup. I'm turning it back on. We need diamonds. Get me diamonds. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Make me eight gears, please. Yes, I did do a bit of forethought and planning for this. Gonna need a few of these. And everything else I have to do manually. Okay, power module requires some pistons. Oh yeah, I made a bunch of pistons to turn in for that quest. Uh, let me grab those and get them submitted quick. In the meantime, make ten more. Thank you very much. For the hoarding, pistons, manual submit, claim reward, got a heart. Very lovely. Ah, now you want sticky pistons and Tinker's Alloy Gears. Do I make Tinker's Alloy Gears? No, I don't. I make Bronze Gears. They're different. Tinker's Alloy Gear is made with iron. The other one is made with bronze. <sighs> I mean copper, not... You know what I mean. Well, damn. Then there's the sticky pistons. I'm assuming it's a hundred sticky pistons. Do I really not have the gold? You. Turn to gold. Thank you. Genetic imprinter again. Let's see, we need one of these. And I think we have everything we need. Yep, genetic and printer. Awesome. Now we need the genetic sampler, which requires the same thing, but one less bee receptacle. I wonder if I even have enough bronze for all this. Jeez. You know what? I'm going to make some more bronze. Ow. Ow. That was too much. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I do my alloys, alloy mixing by the block now. Why did this turn off? I'll turn it back on after I get the bronze made.
Okay. Don't have enough bronze. We are out of bronze. I knew I was going to need more. <sighs> Darn it. This stuff really requires a lot of bronze. It's kind of funny. So we have the bee receptacles. We can make this now. And I think... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bees and trees, open it up. Let's take a look. Knew it! I knew there was going to be more. Lab implements. Blank gene sample, genetic template, genetics labware, empty serum. Okay. We can do this. Let's see, genetics labware is diamond and glass panes. My god, the diamonds! I need those diamonds! Stop taking my diamonds! Okay, that one's done. Genetic template. Ten and a diamond. Uh. Okay, and the last, the last piece was a s empty serum. An empty serum is simply no. <sighs> it's gotta be royal jelly. Mmm, I was doing so good. Well, I guess that's not really that important. Because what I do have, I can take and start working with the bees. Let's see, I believe they both need power. Yep, they take a lot of power, both of them. So genetic sampler takes a sample of a gene and stores it. Genetic imprinter imprints the gene upon the bee. What we want to do is get some mutatrons going. A mutatron, oh my god, the bronze. I can make this one at least. I need more tin. Actually, that goes in here. Let's see. I think both of these... Ooh, I need to make three of those. Now the redstone. Okay. I'm going through so many diamonds, but it's going to be worth it. I swear. I promise. I hope. Okay. Oh, no, wait. That's a advanced mutatron. How do you produce Mutatron again? Mutagen, not Mutatron. Well, um, oops. I made a few more things I didn't really need to make. There, that's what I want to see. Let's see. Need the gears. So I need the bronze. Is my bronze ready yet? My bronze is indeed ready. 180 things of bronze. If I don't have enough bronze with this, then I guess I'll just start to cry. Because that, that always helps, right?
And let's see, I will go with. We'll do that, start getting it cycling through. And. Hmm. I guess I will take this out while we wait for the liquid to sort through itself and plop you here and we'll start getting that honey quest taken care of since we have that nearly ready. I suppose I could go with genetic manipulation too but these all require a bunch of diamonds and emeralds as well so whatever. I'm going to stick with what I'm on. Select task. Sticky situation is selected. We already have like 80,000 honey, so we're getting close to finishing this quest off very fast. Look at all that honey go bye bye. Farewell, honey. I would eat you if I could break this tank open and I didn't need this quest to be completed. I took up cherries. Fun fact, I actually don't like cherries. Uh, I do not have my... I don't have my analyzer. Not that matters because I do need to get... Actually, if that common drone is a pure common drone, then I would separate that and just hope I get a common princess randomly. I know it's not going to happen. Ah, good, we got some bronze. We can continue our quest for bees. And I'll just go for a full 16 of these. Out of bronze. How lovely. Well, it'll get more bronze eventually, so whatever. Um... Muta, Tron, Gen. I'm still missing stuff. Using all my bronze. <laughs> And it's going to take a while to get to my bronze. I'm, I'm going to have to interfere with it. So, clicking out while it was running uh, crashed me. I'm assuming that's what's cr what crashed me. <laughs> my god, this thing is filled. It wasn't this big earlier. Stupid system. Well, I got the bronze going now, so I'll have more bronze. Which is exactly what I want. But I think that because I crashed, um, my order in the crafting system stopped. Yep, it did. That's fine though, because it should have everything that needs to go into here still going. Yep, that's still working, so I'm calling that good. See, that's the good thing about having this subsystem that just automatically keeps on doing the process. I don't have to worry about crashing once I place the order in because all the materials for the order are going to be in here and it's just going to autonomously do it. I love it. Okay, so. Where were we? Oh yes, bronze. I somehow do not have bronze yet. I have blocks of bronze. Now I have multiple blocks of bronze. Interesting. 
Anyway, I want to finish making these machines before I end this episode. I know we're getting close to the half hour mark, so I think I will just keep working on this off camera. You've already seen how to make these machines multiple times now. So, yeah, I'll see you in just a moment. Alright, I got the machines now. My Mutatron. And the Mutagen Producer. Both require power, of course. And the way this works is that you produce mutagen by throwing in redstone or glowstone. And because I have a good amount of redstone, I mean, seriously, look at that. I'm going to use this to make our mutagen. Now it takes time. It takes it takes quite a quite a bit of time. But when I get the redstone done, I get 900 mutagen. Now I don't know if it's going to automatically go over into here because it's next to it. But what it allows you to do is it takes mutagen and it takes bees and labware and it combines them to mutate the bee into the next tier. So doing this I hope to be able to get the imperial bee very fast and perhaps even perhaps even the industrious bee which might be able to help with the tree stuff. Did this empty yet? Nope. Get going. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I haven't decided what we're going to do yet. Oh, but I have a quest that is not claimed. Is it the... Ah, it's the honey quest already. Okay, now here's the question. Do I go for the reward bag? Or do I go for the purple princess so I can start getting purple dye for that purple quest? Like it was a question. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I have 69 lives. I hope you guys are enjoying this series still. I am actually really getting back into the process of doing big, doing all this bee stuff. I really like it. And who knows, I might even expand this little island to be a lot bigger, just for the bees. So, hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you in the next episode, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and a goodbye. Why is that not pumping things out?